Okay, it's actually time for the next talk. Um, we've got Sandro Andrade, uh, all the way from Brazil. He's also a KDE EV board member. Uh, he's going to be talking about uh, creating uh, mobile applications with Qt, uh, uh, about ar architecture and uh, basic design decisions on uh, and, and frameworks uh, to create uh, mobile applications with Qt. So the stage's yours. Let's begin. Uh, uh, all right, good afternoon, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about uh, architecture and cute, uh, cute mobile uh, applications, and this is the kind of subtitle we use to attract people to the talk, so frameworks called the generators and beyond. So don't get uh, disappointed. I promise to, uh, I uh, won't show anything very surprising. So uh, uh, yes. Uh, so a bit about myself, I work as a professor in the Federal Institute of Technology in Bahia, in Brazil, in the sunny city of Salvador. Uh, I've been developing uh, with KDE and Qt since 2001, I guess, and also doing, uh, doing things for KDE since 2008, and I'm also in the board uh, in the board of that uh, directors of KDE uh, AV since two uh, years ago. Uh, I'm doing some stuff in KDE uh, Edu, in particular the software, uh, our software for music uh, education, uh, which is Minuit. And I'm also uh, one of the persons trying to push, uh, to move things forward for KDE and Qt in Brazil and in Latin America in, gen in general. So you should have heard uh, already about uh, our Latin American KD Desktop Summit and lately about Qtcom Brazil. So brace uh, yourselves. Maybe this is something you want to keep tuned uh, about that. Maybe, uh, may, maybe it's a conference uh, when, uh, where do you want to attend next uh, year? If it's, it happens uh, again, hopefully it will. Okay. And so uh, over the last one and a half uh, year, uh, we've been developing some, uh, some cute mobile projects in the university I work at in collaboration uh, with some local companies and uh, also developing some cute mobile uh, applications for uh, our uh, own needs. And uh, we need to have the, uh, those uh, applications running on uh, Android and uh, iOS, so uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, using Qt to make that. So this is an application we are currently uh, working on to manage, uh, to manage uh, our uh, administrative uh, academic stuff like taking student uh, attendance and provide some and particular communication channels for, for professors and uh, students. This is another example uh, which is already done. It's a mobile uh, application for dealing uh, with this kind of group buying like Groupon uh, when uh, you can get better deals if you buy things and in groups uh, of people, right? And so, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, when going through this project, um, uh, all of us uh, already know that Qt provides a very rich and somehow m mature framework to create mobile uh, applications for uh, at least the most uh, popular platforms like uh, Android and uh, iOS. And so uh, it can somehow keep things uh, working pretty well across those, uh, those platforms uh, with some minor exceptions. And, but uh, it's still when you find uh, yourself developing mobile uh, applications uh, which uh, are large and complex. So and uh, you still need, uh, need, uh, need to come up uh, with a good uh, architecture to to uh, ensure that things can be uh, easily maintained as the application grows uh, of, uh, over the time, right? So uh, we don't have uh, any built-in support in Qt to provide uh, any sort of higher level framework to provide efficient uh, architectures for mobile uh, uh, applications. And at the same time, uh, we've seen that a lot of functionalities demanded by such uh, applications uh, are somehow recurrent. So uh, we've seen a lot uh, of uh, applications uh, which uh, are a sort uh, of um, clients, 
uh, client ser uh, uh, server restful communication for doing uh, all kind of uh, stuff. So this is the kind of thing that is quite uh, amenable to have source code uh, automatically generated to improve uh, productivity and redu uh, reduce bugs and so on. And so, and uh, when doing these projects, uh, we have uh, identified some cute uh, disabilities for uh, developing uh, mo uh, mobile uh, applications, like, as I mentioned before, the like uh, of a higher level uh, architectural framework to keep, for example, new functionalities implemented, uh, implemented as plugins. Uh, we have a lot of functionalities for that in KDE Frameworks 5. Uh, they are pretty uh, awesome for doing that for desktop uh, applications, but uh, but maybe in the mobile uh, world, uh, you uh, people uh, usually don't uh, want to to have to to deal uh, with new dependencies or things that are uh, hard to set up, and we also and uh, lack a sort uh, of a set uh, of real, uh, reusable UI components. Kirigami is, uh, is uh, of course, a good uh, initiative uh, with, uh, with respect to, uh, to that, but uh, still a lot of common uh, uh, user interfaces uh, workflow can be um, designed as reusable compon uh, components and have uh, its development somehow uh, automated by code, generate, uh, code generation. And uh, also, we still uh, we have no built-in support for doing an JSON-based RESTful communication uh, in Qt. Uh, uh, we have the XML list model QML uh, object, but nowadays uh, we still need a sort of JSON list model to make things uh, easier uh, when doing client-server uh, client RESTful communication. Uh, also, it has no built-in support for disconnected uh, operations for those situations uh, when uh, you have no uh, access to a network at that time, but uh, you still uh, want to use uh, your mo uh, mobile uh, applications and have s uh, things synchronized uh, once the connection is, is re-established. And so uh, implemented, uh, implementing push notifications is uh, also currently hard to do because you need some a sort of platform specific code if you are doing that in Android or in iOS and also we've been facing some issues when deploying and read write files on Android you have to put things on that assets directory and on iOS that works in a different way so uh, okay so, in, and then uh, once uh, we've identi uh, identified these cute disabilities and we have been uh, working uh, over the last months in some solution uh, which tries to mitigate the issues uh, I'm bringing uh, bring here. So uh, we think that if you could somehow to come up uh, with a nice reusable and, and modu uh, modular reference uh, architecture for mob, uh, mobile uh, applications, and then to turn that implementation in a set uh, of templates, and then uh, use some code generation uh, techni uh, technique to provide, uh, to uh, automatically uh, generate some, some uh, boilerplate, uh, boilerplate code that uh, would make cute mobile development a, a lot of more Productive, at least for those domains where such functionalities appear record, uh, recurrently, right? And so that's how we decided to start uh, working on Mag. Uh, we call it Mag in the lack of a better name. So uh, what's Mag? It's actually made of two different parts. So we designed um, a sort of lean uh, architecture based on some QML, uh, dynamic QML, in order to load, uh, to have uh, each functionality uh, of the uh, application implemented as a separated plugin. Uh, and then uh, uh, at runtime, those plugins uh, are loaded. And, and, and uh, in, or, uh, in order to have, for example, the 
the navigation menu and a lot of CRUD uh, functionalities in, uh, implemented uh, already directly from, uh, from such plugins. And then we turned, uh, we come up uh, with a set of templates uh, which uh, with, uh, implement those core uh, architecture and, then pl uh, and the plugins. And then we've been uh, creating some code generator to allow for developers to uh, easily create new cute mobile uh, applications by uh, using this reference uh, architecture and this code generation, right? And so uh, we have a command line uh, interface, uh, which is implemented based on Ruby Tor, uh, which is a command li uh, line uh, interface framework, which is uh, used in Ruby on Rails framework. And so the the templates are specified in uh, Herb, uh, which is uh, also the, the template uh, engine language uh, used by Ruby on Rails. And generators are modular, so uh, we wanted s since the beginning to make uh, it uh, easy for developers to create new templates to implement n uh, new uh, UI uh, workflows or new client-server communication. So uh, we provide a JSON list model to handle JSON-based RESTful communication. And we have uh, uh, also some, f some features to provide uh, automatic download of uh, icons from Google material uh, icons to uh, use them uh, automatically in uh, your Qt mobile uh, applications. So currently, we have some, some templates which may be uh, useful if you are developing uh, uh, Qt uh, RESTful mobile uh, applications. So uh, we, have ten, uh, we have some templates not uh, only for the Qt client side, but uh, also for the RESTful ser uh, server side. So we have a template for creating a new RESTful server based on Sinatra. Sinatra is a, a micro framework for creating new RESTful services in, uh, servers in Ruby. And uh, also we, uh, we have uh, another template to support new, new models and new services in, in the RESTful server you have just created. And we have a template for, uh, for creating a simple Qt mobile uh, applications based on dynamic QML plugins. And uh, also you have, uh, we have templates for creating Qt mobile uh, applica applications uh, with communicates uh, with servers uh, which provide uh, RESTful services, right? So that's the time uh, when I should provide you some demo, and maybe, so I will try to switch the microphone, uh, microphones because I had to, to type. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Cool. And so uh, this is how you can uh, uh, install Maggie currently. Uh, I, will, uh, I won't do that here because I, I have it uh, already uh, installed, but you can clone the repository, install Ruby, run gem install bundler, and run the bundle to uh, install uh, all the required dependencies, and then you have the, the command line uh, interface in the dire uh, directory bin Mag. In the future, uh, we can have a gen install mag. Uh, I'm not a Ruby specialist. I'm actually learning uh, it while doing this this kind of stuff. So, uh, okay. So, I have it installed here. Okay. So, if you run bin mag and help, so uh, you have some description uh, about the, the commands uh, available. So, if you want to create a new simple Qt uh, application uh, which uh, already uh, uh, uses some QML plugins. You, uh, you can just run this command. I have some script here. I will just copy it. And so here uh, I'm saying, and Maggie, create a, a new, um, sorry, um, create a, a new project called simple uh, app, uh, uh, application and the type is um, um, simple uh, app so so uh, we have a, a, a set of templates so here you just pass the template 
uh, you want to use uh, when generating this, this project, right? So uh, with that, uh, we, uh, you have a lot of boilerplate, uh, boilerplate code uh, already generated here. And now we can, uh, we can create a simple plugin for this uh, application by running mag generate. You can just type help plugin. Then I can uh, ask, create a new plugin, call it um, talks. If you, uh, we want to create some application for showing the academy program. And, and then here you can pass the, the, the path to the application you created before. So this is simple, uh, simple app. And I guess that uh, that's it. So uh, with that, uh, we have here in the folder plugins and a new plugin created for uh, this uh, application, right? Uh, each plugin, uh, each plugin has a met, uh, metadata JSON file uh, which describe. For example, the name that uh, will appear in the, the menu of the uh, application and uh, which KeyML fi uh, file will be loaded when you click on that menu uh, entry, right? So here we can uh, already build and run this project. Okay, and, and here uh, you have your simple uh, application. Uh, with a menu uh, entry, uh, which uh, was uh, already collected from the installed plugins, where when you click here, you, you have a hello from the Tox plugin, right? And then you can just keep creating plugins, and they, uh, those uh, are uh, automatically loaded uh, with no need to rebuild uh, uh, your uh, application, right? So uh, this is uh, our basic plugin, and uh, okay, but uh, we can uh, also uh, Create some some server side and client uh, and client side uh, plugins. So now uh, I'm going to show you how we create a new RESTful server based on on Ruby Sinatra. And so for that we just need to run Ma uh, Maggie by passing a different project template. So now uh, I'm saying just uh, use the Sinatra server template. Okay, so. I have a new project created here, and we can uh, also create a new RESTful server plugin for that ser that server. Okay, so this is a longer command. Here uh, I'm basically uh, basically say, uh, say, uh, saying create a conference server side pl uh, plugin. The type of the the template is Sinatra Service plugin and the application path where the plugin should be installed is my server and here i can pass an a set of the fields that should be stored at that um, server side plugin right so if if uh, i want to store data about conference so uh, i'm storing the acronym and the name the city where the conference uh, is happen the venue we start date and uh, end date right so uh, with that, uh, we create a plugin here. Okay, we can just run rake the uh, db migrate to create the the, the database uh, base for this one, and I will now just to to populate the database uh, with some inf information, and so I will add three conferences here. So we have Kitcom Brazil Academy and ConfKD uh, Conf uh, India, right? And I can finally start the server, my server, here. Okay, so uh, with that, I have uh, already a um, uh, RESTful set, uh, server r uh, running uh, with uh, automatically prov uh, provide me a RESTful uh, endpoint called conferences where I can just uh, JSON tool, try it here. So this is the answer, the 
RESTful server is is providing. Um, okay, uh, I will keep the server running at this tab, and now uh, I will create a new project for the Qt uh, mobile RESTful client for those for this server, right? For that, we will run uh, again our client line uh, interface to create the application called My uh, Application uh, by uh, using the template RESTful uh, application, right? And finally, I can uh, ask it to create a new server-side plugin for RESTful communication. And this uh, will be called Conferences. I pass uh, again the template uh, I, uh, I'm gonna uh, use to create this, the client side, uh, side plugin. And this is the name of the icon that should be uh, used in the menu. So here you pass the Google material uh, icon cat, uh, category and the uh, icon name. And uh, again, the set of fields that the server provides, right? Um, okay. So uh, with that, I can just build the mobile uh, application. So we can have it running. We have uh, already a uh, conferences uh, entry in the menu. And uh, when you click here, it uh, already uh, makes a call to the RESTful server, gets a JSON back, and just provide this in a, in a new li uh, list, right? When you click here, if, uh, you can see the, the details for, uh, for the conference, right? So uh, we can uh, easily create uh, another plugin, uh, also for the server side. And so let's see, let's, cr uh, let's create a new server side plugin to store speakers now, okay? And so this, I will run rake db migrate uh, again to update the the database and I will I will uh, add some data regarding speakers here Okay, we have uh, one speaker. Let's let's add another speaker. Cool. So I will just hash start the server, right? I will now create a new client side plugin for that, for showing uh, also the speakers with that command line. Okay, and now I can run again my uh, app. No need to build it again because they are KVML plugins. And if I run it here, we have a new uh, entry by uh, which shows uh, also the speakers, okay? Uh, our beloved Conky and they're, they're gently, right? And okay, so going back to the presentation. And so this is basically what we have so far. This is not intended to be a finished product uh, yet, just a set of thoughts and some preliminary prototype uh, about how we, uh, we can uh, automate such development of Qt Mobile uh, uh, applications. And so this is what I've just shown you, right? So for the future, we plan to add some new, new templates for the full CRUD support to support, uh, to support the insertion and uh, update and delete uh, of that uh, data directly from the mobile uh, application. And we want to support some, some, some Kirigami-based uh, templates. And also, we want to support relationships between model to implement master details, things, and this kind of stuff, which is quite n n uh, needed in such uh, kind of uh, application. Also, we want to support push notification by generating code specific platform through this kind of tool, okay? So if you wanna try it, you are quite uh, welcome to, uh, to try to clone it, build and just, you can contribute uh, with new 
uh, new templates or tr uh, trying to automate more things. So just talk to me now or in, uh, in the conference, right? So that's it. I don't know if we have uh, time for questions. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a question. Five minutes for questions. Uh, any question? There was uh, one there. Could someone, uh, Bodan? Right. Uh, thank you for the presentation. I have one question. Uh, do you allow uh, hierarchical based uh, templates? For example, speakers within conferences are like you, j you present it one layer so the JSON content will have just one level or is it possible to have multi level? So, uh, is uh, it or you are thinking or it's in the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, this is possible. Uh, it's uh, only a matter of creating a new template or a new uh, application template uh, which uh, allows for such kind of, of stuff. Actually, that requires our, uh, us implementing a kind of rela uh, relationships yeah. because conferences has speakers, the yeah. speakers has a lot of uh, yeah, activities. Yeah. Uh, I guess once this done, we can uh, easily make this possible, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you.